Hi guys, it's Cy from Cyanai Software. Uh, today what we're going to focus on is taking a look at CAD, uh, stuff that you'd bring in from CAD, like floor plans and what you'd have to deal with, and good practices of cleaning it up with our tools. Um, so usually with this, always, it doesn't matter if it's someone checked it or not, I'll always quickly run forensic on it for this reason. I want to make sure there's no blocks. So let's get rid of those. Get rid of my empty objects, layers. Okay, set. That's the basic check. So it's always something that I'm doing with forensic. Now, what we'll have with um, CAD stuff is we're going to have a lot of double or overlapping splines. So I would guessing, you know, if I go select this, there's probably going to be another one underneath it. Yep, there is. Um, there's lots of that. And um, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to just clean this up before you work on it to make it easier to use. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do before I go into this is I'm going to look at stuff that's circular. Um, because in CAD print, uh, CAD drawings, you're going to get a lot of stuff that is really heavy. And good example will probably be, yeah, this bathtub. All right, so I want to clean this up before I get it, even get to this. So I'm going to open up my spline tools, and I'm just going to select this bathtub, and there we go. It's, it's, it's already given me what it thinks is retopologized, and that's good enough. So I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to take a look at what else might be really high. Um, no, it's not too bad. Um, that might be it. Oh, we'll check these guys here just for for sake. And they're not bad either. All right, well, I'm pretty convinced. I'm okay with this now. So I've gone through and I've sort of checked that out. Uh, now, is it, the reason I do that is it's going to save dramatically in looking for overlapping splines. And I could just give you a quick example. So if we take these guys here, let's just find overlapping splines. And I probably used these as an example before. All right, this one here is just dreadful. So it's one that's, you know, that's just overlapping and overlapping tons of stuff. So if I was to go in here, it's got 142 different splines. So I want to take this one and I want to detach overlapping splines and it completely cleans that up. So now what we have is we have one closed spline. That's ideally what we want in a CAD drawing. <laughs> Let me just get rid of these. But you're going to need to sort of do, if you have something that is massive, you're going to need to do it in piecemeal. You're not going to be able to say, hey, I'm just going to select my whole entire scene and go look for overlapping splines. Um, it's going to hang, it's going to take, or it's going to take a really long time. Um, something this size should be fine. Um, so if I had a whole bunch of drawings, I would go just do piecemeal, go through it as I can. And I would probably definitely do the same thing as I do with overlapping faces is I want to find overlapping first. Um, because what it's going to do, as soon as it finds something that might be questionable, it's going to set that aside, not look at all the rest of its segments and move on to the next piece of next piece of uh, you know spline or segment or whatnot. So it will save time, um, and then I can go do my delete or detach easily enough. So even something like this, like you can see now, it scrolled through pretty good, and then it stopped on one piece of geometry uh, or one spline. And what that is going to be is that's going to be a spline that I've missed um, that probably had a f quite a few. Um, knots in it. It could be a real tiny one and it'll have problems with that. So with all that said, let me select my red ones and now I want to say let's detach overlapping. So this should be a lot quicker process because it's going through and it's probably hanging on that same exact one and then it'll jump out of this. So uh, it's going to go through and it will detach. I always sort of like detaching rather than just say delete overlapping. I always sort of just want to see, even though that, you know, we wrote the software. <laughs> always want to see sort of what I'm deleting. All right. 
So everything that's red now is our detached uh, overlapping geometry. So yeah, probably got all these red one, all these ones down here that had overlapping. I'm just going to select that red now and say delete. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to restore this wire color. So with that said, now just hypothetically, um, you know, you never know what happens. I'm just going to run forensic on this one more time because you have a possibility of sometimes still getting empty objects, even though you've deleted double faces. Um, we're just double checking on that, that. That doesn't happen. So I've gone through and hey, there was some whatever double faces were on another layer. So I can another empty layer that I can get rid of. And now that should be a nice clean scene for you to sort of start working with. Um, or you don't have to worry that it's got blocks or overlapping splines or whatnot. It's nice and clean. So check us out. Check out our other tools. That's, this is all part of our Ignite tool set. Thanks, guys. See you.